So believe it or not, in my practice, I get a lot of parents that come into me and they're pretty burnt out. They, uh, they have trouble prioritizing things, taking good care of themselves. And um, so I need to explain to them, you know, how to restructure their lives. They need to understand that they come first, not their kids. That they come first, not their spouse. Doesn't sound very Christian, but uh, the truth is there are certain ways to structure things. And a family needs to be structured properly to work. Similar to building a house. If you're building a house, you have some pretty important structures, you know, the roof, the foundation, the walls. And I'll explain to them that uh, you have to put the house together a certain way. But all parts are important because they have trouble with putting themselves first, typically. So they'll say, well, they feel selfish about it. And like I said, not very Christian. So they'll say, well, all parts of the family are important, but they go together a certain way, similar to a house. I'll say, when you're building a house, do you put the roof on first, and then the walls, and then the foundation? And they'll say, that's silly. Of course not. I'll say, I agree. Uh, so do you put the foundation on, then the roof, then the walls? No. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to build a house that way. They don't see how it could work. I say, well, what's the most important part of the house? And they'll say, well, the roof. I'll say, so if you have a roof and no walls and no foundation, where are you going to live? If you have, they say the foundation, I'll say, okay, foundation with no walls and no roof, where are you going to live? You're going to get pretty wet and cold. So eventually they realize, you know, all parts of the house are important and they're equally important. So now we agree, you, your spouse, and your children are important. But what's also important is how you put them together. So how does a family get put together? A family gets put together by, first, you grow up. You learn to take care of yourself. Then you get married. Then you have kids. So the first thing, your first priority is taking care of yourself. Being mature. Caring properly for yourself. Then you can add someone to your life that you care about. They don't have to take care of you because you're doing that but you can seek their support. You can put your heads together and make uh, more things, like children. So then you have children, but that's the order of things. Children come last. The first part of the house is you. You're the foundation. Your spouse may be considered to be the walls, and the children the roof. But you need all those parts to make the house. But they do go together in a certain order. And I'd like you to keep that order in mind. However much humility it takes, you need to recognize your first priority is to yourself.